welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a unpacking video on the GGB BFF. Uh, I used this bag quite a while back when my daughter was younger and I went away from it mainly because it wasn't working with the particular pram I had and it just it, it was heavy and it just wasn't a favorite at the time. Um, she's going to preschool or daycare starting next week I think she'll be one and I thought I would give this bag another try because people have said it's really good for that purpose. So I'm pretty happy with it. I got it uh, today and I took it out with me today and packed it up how I normally would with my other bags. And I found that there was so much room. I forgot how much room is actually in the BFF, how much you can pack in there. So what I've done today, I've just, um, this is all packed up for if I just went out just normally. Then I have the items that I have to put in there for preschool or daycare. So I was just going to show different, two different uses for the BFF because I tried to do a search on YouTube for daycare bags and there wasn't much that I could find. So I thought I'd just try one out myself and see how it goes. So I'm just going to do a little unpacking. So here we are in the front. There's a mommy pocket right here. And this, uh, by the way, this is in the new Jujubee and Tokidoki collaboration print, the Unikiki 2.0. I have a few bags in this print. I really think it's adorable in the BFF and it's so great for preschool so because it's so bright and colorful. So just on the zipper here, I do have a little beaded uh, zipper pull that I made myself and I kind of put this one in between uh, this print, my DSS and my Perky Toki bags because it just kind of goes with all of them. So that's just on that zipper pull here. If you open up this pocket here, this is uh, the mommy pocket. It's got a pocket in the front, in the back here, sunglass pocket, little zip pocket here, and then a space in the middle. So what I've got in here just for me is my long wallet by Elisa from our Australian Jujube Buy Sell Trade. I love this, this is really good. And the only other thing I have in here in this back zipper pocket is my lipstick, that's it. I've really gone down what I take. I actually found when I put my stuff in here that I normally put in, there's so much room left. So, but that's all I've got in that front pocket there. There's a cell phone pocket just above that that's quite roomy, felt lined. I've just got my iPhone 7 Plus in there. And as you can see, you can fit your whole hand in there and this comes out too. So you can use this to clean your phone when you need to as well. That works really well. In the side pockets here, there's two insulator pockets on either side of the BFF. And I don't really put bottles in there because I don't want to stretch this out. And I just I just prefer not to put the bottles in there. But I do have my keys attached using an NCO little uh, hook. And that works well because I can get to my keys really easy. So I have that just hooked to the messenger strap. Little D-ring there. There's a change pad pocket at the back which comes with a really nice large cha padded change pad and I just put in my wipes packet back there because that's easy to get to this is a wipe pouch fantastic little wipe pouches so that just goes in that pocket back there Now the BFF does come with two ways of wearing this bag it comes messenger style so it does come with a messenger strap like this that attaches to the D-rings here you can use it as a messenger bag which is quite good to get it when you're carrying it from the car to the pram and just short distances. It also comes with backpack straps that are padded with memory foam. At the moment I have the backpack straps on my B Sporty because it's uh, the B Sporty doesn't come with padded straps so I have them attached to the B Sporty here but the nice thing is if you have two bags in the same print you can just remove them off the sporty like this and if I want to wear my BFF as a backpack I can just reattach them to the BFF like this and it is quite comfortable so a lot of people like the BFF as a backpack I haven't really worn it yet as a backpack I find it I mean it's kind of heavy it's a heavy stuff kind of bag in general so I'm not sure how comfortable it would be as a backpack but I'm sure if you know it's handy to have this option so if I need to take uh, Clara into school or if I need to put it put the bag on my back when we're out because I have to have to have room for everything else in the pram this is a nice option to have I think I prefer it like this than with the messenger strap the messenger strap it can be a little awkward because of the shape of the bag it's kind of in a triangle as you can see on the side pockets here so 
that is probably why they give you this backpack option. And this is what makes the BFF such a popular choice with the Jujubee bags. It's probably the most popular bag. So there you go, that gives you an idea of how this bag can be worn. Nothing in this pocket here. And we'll go into the center of the bag. So this opens up at like a U. There are gussets on the side of the bag here so things don't fall out when you open it up. And what I've got in here is I do like to take these pouches still for my nappy pouches. This is just a large set piece. And inside here I have two size four nappies, a light change pad from my B Sporty and a little small set piece with creams and disposable bags and a wet bag in there. And that fits in the, in the middle here. Now I did uh, put the nappies in this back pocket earlier, but I do like having them in this pouch I find because it's just easy to take out onto the changing table. So that's just in there. In the center again, I have some toys. I take Sophie Giraffe, normally a couple of chew toys because she's teething, being a year old, she's still getting teeth. She's getting like four teeth at once. It's a bit of a nightmare. And another and little phone, so just a couple of toys. And this is where I like to keep the my drink bottle. This is a Thermos Fogo or Fugo. Fantastic, because it's got a straw. I find it works better for Clara than the other ones. And that, that just sits in there. That's insulated too, so I don't need to worry about putting that in the bottle pockets. And I've also got my nude food tower. Uh, I, I can fit a small, uh, even a large uh, fuel cell in here, but if it's just my, myself and, and the baby and say my three-year-old, I don't really need to take a fuel cell. This works just as well. In the side pocket, there are some pockets in the side here. So there's the gusseted pockets. So there's one, two, three, four gusseted pockets. In this one here, I just have a change of shorts for her in case she has an accident and needs to be changed. And there's nothing in this pocket here. In this pocket back here, I've got a beanie bib inside a coin purse. I do this because it comes out really easy. And this is also in the Unikiki. I kind of matched everything today. Um, because it is easy. If you, this gets dirty, I fold it up this way and I roll it up and I put it back into the coin purse and that way it doesn't get anything else dirty. I find that's really handy. And then in this other pocket, pocket here on the left, I've just got a small set piece that I take everywhere with lip balm and some ibuprofen for myself, lens cleaner, hand sanitizer, band-aids, hand cream, bongella, all those things that you would normally take with you just in case. And I don't always reach for this, but it's handy to have. Now there's two zipper pockets at the back of the bag here. There's nothing in this one. In this one, I've got a little coin purse with some hair ties and a little brush, a round brush as well. So that's just in that back pocket. The BFF also has two plastic pockets here. I find I can't fit much in there, so I just don't bother putting anything in there. Then there's a zipper pocket right here. It's kind of like a hidden zipper pocket. And I actually put my hand sanit um, sorry, antibacterial wipes in there because that, that doesn't bulk up the bag and it works really well. So that's all the things that I would take just on a regular basis if I went out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in what they've asked me to put in for preschool or daycare. So of course I wouldn't put any of my own things in there. It would just be things for Clara. So what I've done is I've got some Katmandu packing cubes. And uh, I do have a bee organized coming, but these work really well too. So in one of the packing cubes, I've got her two sets of changes of clothes. And this is really handy. So that's in there like that. And then in the other packing cube, I put four nappies. This particular daycare supplies wipes, and uh, but you have to take your own nappies. And because Clara is breastfed, I don't need for bottles or bottle formula or anything in there. She's only gonna be going half a day. Uh, probably by the time she needs a feed from me, I'll be getting her anyway. So I didn't bother putting any food. So it's just nappies and change of clothes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put those just down the bottom here like this. Actually, I put the clothes on the bottom. It's probably the least they're gonna use. And then I've got the nappies on front, on the top. So I'm probably not gonna put anything in, into any of these pockets. The reason I wanted this bag is because when you go to daycare, you want them to be able to open the bag up and see everything and not have to dig through the bag to get to stuff. So I figured that would work like that. 
I also need to take a sheet for the crib. So there's a crib sheet just rolled up. So I put that on top like that. And then a blanket also. Now because it's summer, I thought I'd put a muslin blanket in there like this. And I'm sure they have extra blankets there if she needs an extra blanket. So that's just on top there. And I think that's all I put in that one because that's kind of getting a little squishy there. I might put her shoes, these little shoes. These are skinny. If you want some really good shoes for um, babies, these are really good because they have the elastic at the back. They're shaped correctly for their feet and it encourages correct uh, walking and use of their feet and toes. So these are really good. So I'll put those in the top there like that. And that zips up nice like that. Now, I'll end up taking this off. Of course, I don't think I would ever send this to preschool. It would never come back. So we'll put that down there. And the only other thing I have to send is her hat. So I think I'll put her hat in the front here like this. I've also ordered a B tag, um, B tag from GGV, which is just a little thing that you attach to the bags and they've got, it's got your inf little tag for the information, which so I'll attach that to here. So that's all I would put in there, but see how it's, it's nice and accessible. So when she gets to preschool, all they have to do is open up and there everything is. I wouldn't expect it to come back packed like this because of course during the day they've got so many kids they have to look after everything just gets shoved back in. So I think out of all the bags, I own nearly every single type of jujube bag and I think out of all the bags, the, the BFF is the most logical to use as a daycare bag because it, it and plus it's the correct size to go into the cubbies the place I go they have little cubbies that they stick everything in so this is the correct size I thought about using a BRB or a mini B my daughter uses a mini B for preschool but I just I think this is easier because it opens up wider so there you go so that shows how the BFF can be used just as a regular nappy bag and also as a daycare bag so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions Give me a comment down the bottom or give me a like and subscribe to see more. Hope you have a great afternoon. Bye.